All right. It's been a while. And I think it's time to come back. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I just need to get it to the point where I was ready. On a lot of different levels. So we need to backtrack and talk about what happened and where did I go? Four years ago on September 28th, 2016, was the last video that I made consistently. It was a video, basic, random, raw. It was a video on black moors. Um, and then my videos came to a halt. A lot of people guessed it. Certain people showed up on my YouTube channel every now and then occasionally on a blue moon. Four years ago, I went through a breakup. It was a bad one. Uh, the relationship was nine years. Um, that girl was my life, my everything, my love, my heart, my soul. Uh, so when she left, it left me at my lowest. And I can't really describe the pain to you. That was the person who I thought was going to be my wife and the mother of my children. So taking that in consideration, I fell into a pit and then I had to go on a journey. When I say pit, I mean depression. Um, like I said, my life walked away. And even though I was a strong person individually, um, even though I knew myself before she came into my life, and you're always getting to know yourself as life progressed. But what I'm saying is I had a foundation of who I was alone. I'm the only child. I've got a select few friends, uh, a tight inner circle. So when my ex left, the stuff that went through my head, everything was my fault. I lost my self of worth. Um, I questioned everything about me. I hated myself. Uh, like I said, I fell into a deep depression. And there came a point where I realized I need to make a change, no matter how hard it is, or I'm not gonna be here for long. So every day I fought and I did everything I could to better myself. Um, I was always a Christian. Uh, there's one thing to love God in the times where it's easy, but when you don't understand what's going on and life's not easy, that is a whole new perspective of love and understanding and trust. And that's what I had to learn. How to learn how to surrender my will. But enough about religion, because I know not everybody wants to hear that. So, I started working out. I started eating better. I started contacting friends that I abandoned. And for you watching, thank you for letting me be part of your lives again. I started learning how to be happy, not alone, because... I was already used to that, but I was learning how to be happy without her, which to this day, I really don't understand how I did it, but I did. So as I started the journey of getting myself back on track and coming back, um, I also said, you know what? I got a lot of time on my hand, especially when every second feels like an hour. I want to go back to YouTube. I was gone a couple months and I released a video on January 6th of 2017. You can tell right then and there on that video, it was a cycling video, and you could tell something was wrong with me. I was not there. Uh, after that, there were several other videos made, but they were all failed attempts, and I apologize for those videos. At that time, I was not ready to come back, not by a long shot, but I tried. April 21st of 2017, that was the last video for a while, and the reason for that is because I couldn't sit still. I always had to be on the go doing something. I'm like that naturally, but I had to, I was never home. I was always alone, isolated, doing stuff like this, getting alone with God, learning who he is and who I am again. And I'm sorry, there's some fish jumping in that water and I got sidetracked. But April 21st was my last video for a while because I wasn't ready to come back, not by a long shot. Um, I wanted to be taking my time and doing other things. Uh, I wanted to heal outside of YouTube. 
I wanted to get out there and explore and make up for lost time and just do things that I haven't done in a long time and do a whole bunch of new things. I also wanted my time to be with certain other people. Someone came into my life in 2017 and even though it wasn't meant to last, I believe everything happens for a reason. Me and that person are friends to this day, very close friends. And that person put a spark back in my life. It helped me regain a lot of myself and she she made me remember my self-worth, if that makes any sense. You go from getting dumped to a gorgeous older girl taking an interest in you. It was nice. So enough of that. Um, from April to December of 2017, I was out there enjoying my life and that was the best summer of my life. Um, it was a long, hot year and that's how I like it. Uh, it, it we were still swimming this time of the year and I, I wouldn't dare get in that water right now because it's 57 degrees outside right now. Um, but in December of 2017, December 17th to be exact, I released another video and it was Wayne's Back. And it explained poorly on what happened in my life. I was too scared of offending and saying too much personal information, which I still won't. I'll still show respect, um, but I'll still honor the people that were in my life and I'll still be an adult about it. And at the moment, I still really wasn't ready to come back, but more ready than I was before. I wasn't ready to come at it yet. So I was feeling a lot better um, by that time, but I was still nowhere near close getting out of that pit, if that makes any sense. Uh, I was still learning how to live and how to be happy. But I was getting there. So I started making videos again. They were better, but they weren't back to where they used to be. In February of 2018, I grew close to somebody unexpectedly. And me and that person didn't work out. We were great when we were great. Me and her are two different stages of our life. And in the end, it blew up. We tried being friends. It didn't work. It did work. It didn't work. It didn't work again. And then it did work. And then I just said, you know what? I can't sacrifice a future for a dead yesterday. So I kind of took that person out of my life, even though something happens to her, I'll, I'll always, you know, care. Like, I'll care about you as a person, but I can't live my future with you in my life today. But in the time of 2018, 2018 was better than 2017, until the end. <laughs> but that year, I, I came alive even more and I stopped making videos in August August 26 of 2018 was the last video I made period because I wanted my time to be with her she was in school uh, stayed away so she came back every now and then I actually I saw her like every two weeks or every week and then you know but still it wasn't every day that I was used to literally every day um, so I wanted my time to be with her and I fell for her even harder as the year progressed. Things blew up between me and her, like I said a minute ago. And Kayla, there's been a couple after, but nothing really gone anywhere at all. So I took that time to we put the rough sandpaper on me. So at that time, I was putting the softer grade sandpapers. We went from the 80 grit to the 50, and now we're moving to the 100 and 200 grit sandpaper. Who am I fooling? You're always gonna be sandpaper in your life no matter how old you get. But from 2018 to 2020, I didn't put out a single video. I spent my time with my friends alone, out on the town, concerts, travel, Weddings, events. I spent my time wisely. Oh, and work. <laughs> A lot of work. But I spent my time wisely and I don't regret it. I've been dating myself for a long time now. 
even though there's been people in between. In 2019, there was a girl, not even worth mentioning. 2020, there was one, kind of blew up, but everything happens for a reason, right? And now, I see possible new futures, and we're just going to go with it. So, enough about me and what I've been doing in my love life. That's all it's been, really. A self-journey. What have I been doing with my aquariums and what's been going on with my fish? All right, I'm not gonna lie. For a hot second, for a long time, my fish tanks look like shit. I mean, absolutely. I lost a lot of them, not all due to my fault. Some were like disease, uh, unhealthy genetics, uh, freak accidents. Uh, yes, the other day I had a bow shark jump out of my 55. Like, what the But, uh, oh, that's right, you can't cuss on YouTube anymore. What the heck? But I've always had fish and I've neglected them and I felt bad about it. So I started working on my tanks to get them to the point where they were suitable to house fish. And then very recently I've started to feel, after I took the blame off me on the last relationship, I finally started feeling 100% ready to get involved with my aquariums again, like fully. But I've been watching from the shadows. I've been staying up to select a few YouTubers that I love, like Dustin and I saw Solid Gold came back, and I'm not gonna lie, she kind of finally gave me the final nudge to get back out there. You know, I had a feeling she was going through some stuff. I tried reaching out to her, she didn't respond, she didn't have to, because I was going through some stuff too, and I could just kind of sense that she was. Um, but when I saw she had the courage to come back, it was like, well, Wayne, you're, you're healed up. You have no excuse. It's time to give back to the people who are waiting. So I want to say thank you, Jenny, for your courage. Um, for expressing that and I want to say thank you uh, for giving me the final nudge you've always been one of my favorite youtubers and one of my inspirations and uh, it's not just her though I could name people like Dustin and the list goes on but at the end of the day we're a community and we spread knowledge we spread our passion but at the same time at the end of the day it's nice to see the the love for one another and the community coming together to support each other. So, that's the good side of the community. Why did I leave? Yeah, I left because of relationship stuff and I was in no place. But even when I was with her for nine years, YouTube was taking a toll on me and it was, quite frankly, making me kind of mad at it. It wasn't the same. And, you know, when Jenny was speaking about her video, if you hadn't seen it, how I suggest watching it, um, she hit these, these thumbnails, these pinpoints, and I was like, She's speaking the truth. YouTube's not what it used to be. Um, I've said this, my, I've always been the unfiltered fish keeper in our community, and sometimes I'm a little blunt, and that's okay. Um, but this community has changed. It, it's like you have to be a celebrity YouTuber. You've got to be fake to be a big YouTuber in the aquarium aspect of YouTube. Um, so it made me mad when I gave my passion and I made videos and I gave legit content what was going on with my videos and I saw these fake YouTubers. Um, when, I, when I say fake, I mean their personality. They were all about the monetization. They were all about how can I get more views so I can get more money. They weren't about it because you could, you could watch their videos and tell they, they were interested in the fish, but it will be a phase. They will phase out in a few years and they will not carry that passion on. Um, and I could be wrong, some might. But in the moment, they, they like it. They, they got a adrenaline rush off of it, but they're also getting more of a adrenaline rush off the monetization and the fame. And if you don't understand what I'm talking about, I'm sorry, probably a select of you will understand what I'm talking about. I've got very thick skin, but it also didn't help when you poured your knowledge out there and no one knows it all, no one's perfect. Um, there are things that I don't know. There's a lot that I don't know. But it, it's just when you pull your knowledge out there, giving back, and select individuals would just watch your videos to be about something. And it's like, yeah, I blocked a lot of people. Uh, I disabled comments, removed comments. Because uh, it's also a trend. If one person says something bad, you'll have 50 people saying the same exact thing. You see that on Instagram videos all the time or any posts on any social media. One person will see something and then a train will follow it and it will be a trend. And that got old. Um, but I think what really just threw me away from YouTube was 
the the passion of fish keeping kind of shifted from fish keepers talking about what they're doing to celebrities showing what they've got and growing their audience. Keep in mind, I'm not saying it's bad to grow your audience or become a big YouTuber when it comes to our community. It's just, I believe you've got to stick to it the right way. You've got to have the passion. I've been rambling on a lot. That's where I've been. That's what I thought about YouTube. I got mad at it. I fell apart. I decided to leave. I tried coming back, wasn't ready. But now, I'm finally to the point where I feel pretty good that I've been keeping fish. So, what's Wayne's Fish World? What's gonna happen? One of the things with YouTube is making deadlines. I will never promise you guys a deadline of a video or two videos a week again. I will try to keep videos on a consistent rate, but they will not be on every Sunday or every Friday at this time or this date. No, because that puts the pressure on you and you start to lose the enjoyment of actually making the videos and giving back to the community. That's the reason you got into it. It starts feeling more like a job or a duty or a liability versus a pleasure. So no more consistent videos on a specific date. Not to take their name, but My Aquarium Diary. Great YouTuber. I kind of want my YouTube channel to be a diary of my, of my story, which it's always been. A few educational videos here and there, but I'm gonna be more real than ever. If my audience shrinks, that's fine. If it grows, that's fine too. I'm just going to be who I am more than ever. And I can't promise you yet how often the videos will come and whatnot, but I can tell you what I've got going on. Or I can show you. So this video is going on kind of long, but I think it's necessary. I wanted to take this time to get it out of the way to focus on the points of what happened, where I was at what I was going through, what I faced, and what I conquered, and how I overcame. Um, maybe it's inspiration, maybe get some of you some courage that are going through some stuff in life right now. I hate to do this to you guys, and by the way, this is my son. His name is Bjorn Ironside. I hate to leave a cliffhanger like this, but I promise you this, it's about to get real fishy next video. So, if you guys want to see what's going on and with Wayne's Fish World with my tanks, I highly suggest you guys, I don't even know what you got to do anymore. Hit the notification, ring the button to, to get notifications even though you're subscribed already. So, subscribe if you guys want to see it. Be notified by hitting the bell and stay tuned. If you want to see what's going on in my personal life, you can check me out on Wayne's Fish World on Instagram. I post pictures of what's been going on ever since. So, it's been long. I apologize for the wait, but I'm back. I'll see you guys soon. I do want to say something guys even though these last few years have been a journey for myself it doesn't mean everything was down in the gutter um, I've been living my life to the fullest um, I've really come alive these last few years I've found out about myself things I didn't know um, I've been living life and I've been doing good I found myself on these shores and many others like some of my best memories are even right over there there's been moments in mountains to climb but that's going to be every stage of life um, i've really found myself and found my center around the water so ironically enough i don't believe in zodiacs but i am an aquarist the water bear um, i absolutely love the water maybe that's something i need to make a video on in the future and what the water means to me and what it's done in my life